back with another video, but this video is a little different. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do something like properly. I'm gonna teach you how to change that BMW battery. And this goes for the one series and the two series. Well, yeah, and the three series. And the reason for this is because if you don't do it right, you will fuck your car up. And trust me, I've already fucked my car up once before. And it cost me like a thousand dollars. And I'm gonna show you how not to do that shit. Now guys, the first thing you do is pop your trunk, right? Now, if you fuck this up, and let me explain, let me close this door. If you fuck this up, you guys are gonna be really pissed off. Now guys, now all you have to do is open your trunk and then you flip this cover up and your battery will be exposed. And it's gonna be right here. It's like that on every BMW. All right, and now what you wanna do is take off the negative first. Once you remove the negative, then you remove the positive. This is really easy to take off, and let me show you how to do it. There's two brackets. There's a bracket down here, and you just pull it towards you, and it comes right up. Same thing on this side. Pull it towards the opposite way, and it comes right up. Once it's loose, it's already loose. I could take it off, but I gotta remove these things first, and I'll show you that right now. These are 10, 10 millimeters, so just grab your wrench, or you can use pliers too. Just like that, that's pretty much off. Now, like I said, negative first. Negative goes out. Grab this, push this over here. And now, now positive. Now the positive is gonna go out with everything, just like that. Now you're able to just grab the battery, pick it up, and just slide it on out. And you're able to take it out now. now to remove it, to make it easy, you grab this and you push it all towards the right. And right here, you just grab it right up. Just like that. Now guys, I repeat, you only wanna take out the battery if you know that you need a new one. And if your car keeps dying and you need to keep jumping it to get it going, that means you need a new battery. So don't think that just because you have enough voltage or the battery says that the volts are fine, that the battery's fine. It's usually always the battery that's fucked up. And not just that, but take your battery to AutoZone. They will check it for you for free, and then you'll know for sure if you need a new battery or not. So now what you just gotta do is put the positive back first. Do not put the negative, please. I don't want to hear that you fucked up your car. Just like that, positive is back on. It's fucking easy. If you guys are having any trouble, just leave a comment down below. You know, I'm gonna help you guys. And then just the negative. You heard my car go back on? And now just tighten everything down and you should be good. And that's it guys. You're able to just close your trunk, you know. Get back in your car. Oh. Where's my key? Get back in your car. Put the key in. Press the brake. And you're back. If your car turned on and everything seems fine, good job. You did it. But I do want to say a couple things before um, you know, I finish the video. Only change your battery if you know you need to change your battery. And the, how you know that, take the battery out of the car. I said this earlier. Take the battery out of your car. Give it to AutoZone. Let them check it. Sometimes they'll check it and the battery might come back to you and say that it's holding 12 volts. Because my old battery used to hold 12 volts. But after I drove my car from my house to whoever's house and I... And I left it there for maybe an hour or two without turning it back on, my car would die. So if your car is doing stuff like that, where it's dying all the time, but they told you your battery's fine, most likely your battery is not fine. What I would do is replace the battery anyways. And if it's still doing the same thing, I would just take the new battery back and get your money back because now you're looking at a short, something shorted out or something's wrong in your car. Um, also, 
if you don't if you buy a battery and you're not sure that it's the exact um same one that your car already has like if AutoZone didn't tell you that's the same battery that you have in your car but you just you're putting in a random battery in your car and you do it and you turn your car on and it turns on and everything is fine i would suggest for you to take your car to a foreign mechanic shop and have them register that battery to your car because if you don't you're risking you're you're risking fucking up a couple of things because these cars like bmws and mercedes they do run like certain voltage to certain modules so keep that in mind and i think that's all i gotta say i have more videos coming for you guys i have a video for the alternator and just another random one and i hope you guys are enjoying this because this year i'm bringing three videos every week so leave a comment down below of what you want to see i really appreciate you guys watching my videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one